In this lesson, we're going to look at how to solve linear equations. So first, I want to tell you that linear means that the variable exponent is 1. It can't be any higher than 1, so we won't see anything like x squared or x to the third. We won't see any square root of x. We won't see any x's in the denominator. All we will see is just plain old variable x. And all of the equations that you've done so far have been linear. So we're really not doing anything new here. We may just be pulling together a few things that you've learned over the last few lessons. And so here's our strategy. First, if you see any distribution, go ahead and do that first. Then, if you see any terms to combine on the left side, or if you see any terms to combine on the right side, do those separately from each other and then you can start solving. You want to first isolate the x term that usually involves adding or subtracting to get all the numbers all you know all the numbers all the constants on one side of the equal mark and all the x terms combined on the other side. And last we will isolate x and this is usually a multiplication or division step. So now we're going to look at a few examples together. And the first one is 13x minus parentheses 9x minus 7, close parentheses, equals 11. So first, let's distribute this negative. Now, I don't want to distribute the 13x because it's not 13x times this parentheses. It's 13x minus this parentheses. So let's just distribute the minus sign and we'll get 13x minus 9x and plus 7 equals 11. Now look at the left side and you see that we have two x terms so let's combine those two x terms. 13x minus 9x is 4x we still have our plus 7 and we still have equals 11. So now the thing is we want to isolate this 1x term. So that means I want to get rid of this plus 7. And we do that with a minus 7 on both sides. So now 4x equals 4. 11 minus 7 is 4. And now I want to isolate the x and I do that by dividing away this 4 coefficient. So let's divide each side by 4. And when we reduce, 4 divided by 4 is 1. So our solution here is 1. Here is another example for us. 2 times 3x plus 1 equals 8x minus 4. So let us distribute this 2 here. 2 times 3x will be 6x, and 2 times 1 will be 2. So that's the left side, and then the right side, of course, is still the same. So now I have a constant and an x term on the left. I have a constant and an x term on the right. So whenever we're in this situation where we have both kinds of terms on both sides of the equal mark, we've seen this before, what we want to do is get rid of this 6x. We want to get rid of the smaller x term, which in this case is 6x. We'll do minus 6x on both sides, and that will leave us with 2 over here. And on the right side, 8x minus 6x is 2x, and then we have our minus 4. Okay, now here is my x term. I want to isolate the x term. That means I want to get rid of the minus 4. So let's do plus 4 on each side. And now 2 plus 4 is 6. And I have my 2x here. And now let's get rid of this coefficient of 2. We want to isolate the x. So we'll divide both sides by 2. And then 6 divided by 2 is 3. So x equals 3. Now don't forget, you can take any solution and check it in the original equation. You just want to make sure that your equation gives the same answer on both sides. So if I check my 3 here, 
3 times 3 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10, and 10 times 2 is 20. So the left side is adding up to 20. On the right side, 8 times 3 is 24, and 24 minus 4 is 20. So the right side adds up to 40. So I really want you to get in the habit of checking your answers. Um, I hear students during class all the time who look at their buddy, you know, when we're working together in class, and they'll say, what'd you get? I got three. What'd you get? And the buddy says, oh, I got three too. Don't rely on anybody else. Don't, don't think that you have to ask somebody what the answer is. You need to, if you get an answer, you want to see if it's right, plug it back in up here and work it out. It only takes a second. It's a really good habit. Now here we go again. We're going to solve 3 times x minus 5 plus 16 equals 2 times x plus 3. So of course we have to start by distributing to get rid of the parentheses. And so I now I have 3x minus 15 plus 16 equals 2x plus 6. Now I have here minus 15 plus 16. I need to combine those like terms and that leaves me with 3x plus 1 equals 2x plus 6. And now I'm back in that same situation where I have both kinds of terms on the right, both kinds of terms on the left. So the way I decide which term to eliminate first is I find the smallest x term and get rid of that. So let's do minus 2x on both sides. And 3x minus 2x is 1x. And on the right side, uh, 2x minus 2x cancels itself out, and we're left with a 6. And to finish solving, I will do minus 1 on both sides, and that leaves us with x equals 5. And here's one more for us to work together. I have lots of distributing to do here, so let's do 12 times x and 12 times 3 and that will give us 12x plus 36. Now on this one, we are distributing a minus 3. So minus 3 times x is minus 3x, and minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9. This plus sign is a source of a lot of mistakes for a lot of people, so you be very careful when you are distributing negatives, and remember that distributing a negative changes every sign in the parentheses. Now let's distribute the 4. 4 times x will be 4x. 4 times minus 1 will be minus 4. Then 4 times x is 4x, and 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Now look at the left side. I have 2x terms and 2 constants that we will combine. 12x minus 3x makes 9x. And 36 plus 9 makes 45. On the right side, 4x plus 4x makes 8x. And negative 4 minus 12 makes minus 16. Then I have both kinds of terms on both sides of the equal mark. Two different terms here, two different terms here. So I will find the smaller x term, which is this one, and we'll do minus 8x on both sides. Now 9x minus 8x is 1x plus 45, and then on the right side it all comes down to minus 16. Now we want to isolate the x, so this plus 45 has to go. Let's do minus 45 on both sides. And we're going to get x on the left side. And negative 16 minus 45 makes minus 61. And that is how you solve a linear equation.